Hello everyone, welcome to the ITLS Academy. Today we are going to discuss the topic that is your quality assurance. See this quality assurance are very broad term. Very broad term. And it is totally based on preventing the quality failure. Okay, and it also involve uh, it also involve in all the stages of the food production. This quality assurance uh, involve in all stages of the food production. Or you can simply say that this quality assurance assured that the quality of the food maintained in each step. Okay, like your processing, like production, storage, um, packaging. In each step, it, it will be assured that the quality of the food should be maintained. The quality of the food should be maintained okay that is called quality assurance now the next one is your content that we are going to discuss today is first one is your introduction then issue and functions of this food quality assurance and food quality assurance system okay so these are the content that we are going to discuss today now the first one is your introduction part we all know that foodborne illness are what foodborne illness are an illness that uh, occur in a human being due to the uh, contaminated or spoiled food okay now these spoilage are mostly are mostly caused by the microorganisms okay like your viruses bacteria parasites and even sometimes our food and water are also contaminated by a chemical okay now uh, when a uh, foodborne illness occur in someone then there is a symptoms uh, occurred in in that human being and the symptoms are what maybe they have a diarrhea okay then uh, if they have a chemical contamination then maybe some acquired poisoning or long term uh, disease like your cancer sometime lost uh, long lasting disabilities and even it become the reason of the death okay now the some uh, food which are unsafe for a consumer like uncooked food of uh, animal uh, origin because it contain uh, the microorganisms E. coli which are very harmful for the health of the human being. Even fruits and vegetables are also contaminated with the fecus uh, and it also contain a va various type of bacteria and even the chemical contamination will also occur this raw fruits and vegetable due to different pesticides and herbicides and our raw selfish uh, are also uh, contain biotoxins which are harmful for the consumer now see what is written in the slide major foodborne illness are caused by either bacteria viruses parasites okay they are what they are come under the category of microorganisms okay and they are also caused by a chemical uh, like throw contaminated food or water okay now causing what effect uh, it will appear in a human being that is your severe diarrhea or debilitating infection that is meningitis okay chemical contamination like your acute poisoning or long term disease like sometimes uh, it is called cancer may also lead to long lasting disability and death example of unsafe food are uncooked food of animal origin it is very important that when we take a non veg food then we then that food should be properly cooked okay the temperature should be reaches at least 85 degrees celsius and this temperature will be the middle of the food middle side of the middle uh, sorry middle side of the food middle side of the food okay 
and even the storage temperature are also important storage temperature are also important we all know that the hot food should be kept kept above 63 degrees celsius and the cold food should be kept between a 0 to 5 degree celsius or minus 18 to minus 22 degree celsius okay if the food are kept into a danger zone that is your 5 to 63 for 2 hours then this food become spoil and this spoilage are occurred mainly due to the microorganisms so it is very important that it should not kept into a danger zone now uh, raw uh, raw selfish are contaminate containing bio toxin these are the introduction part now come to the next slide see these are the food which are already contaminated you can see that here are some uh, parasites or some uh, insect are there here also some insect are there in a bread uh, sometime uh, fungus growth occur into a bread bread sorry fungus growth occur into a bread so these are what these are these are the food which are contaminated by the microorganism and even sometime it is also contaminated with the biological contamination like your insects now the next one is your uh, there are some cases are there uh, of food borne illness like one, there is 158 students are ill by a food borne illness in malaysia okay now uh, in more more than 150 students are uh, at a boarding school in kuala nirang malaysia were sick with a food borne illness okay now the government news agency that is barnama reported that seven of the student are at sikola menega kebangasa um, datu sayed ahmed were admitted to the hospital and two have already been discharged the other five are reported to be in a stable condition so um, the food borne uh, illness are occurred due to the salmonella bacteria which are present in a chicken intestine and it is also uh, contaminated the food handler who who handle the no, non cooked food product and the product which are stored in a chicken stored in a refrigerated uh, and that causing the bacteria to release high level of toxin he told barnama okay so this con, this 158 student who have food borne illness the, the illness are occur due to this salmonella bacteria which are present in a chicken intestine and it also uh, cross contaminated to the food handler who touches the chicken which are already stored so these are the one case of malaysia and the second case in which there are 849 students at 16 sabha school in 39 incident this academy academic year okay so there are uh, 16 sab sabha school in which 849 students uh, have occur food poisoning okay now these food poisoning are occur due to the due to the consumption of the contaminated food product okay now the next one is your according to the ministry of health and press statement 2016 okay he said that there are around 78 percent of cases are reported of food poisoning okay in different different uh, schools and it is according to the ministry of health now among them 57 episode increase compared to the last year okay so among 78% of the cases which are introduced in 2016 in which 57% are increase from the last year and 60 episode that is around 2325 new cases occur in a school okay and 95.7% of incidents are occur due to the school due to the consumption of the school canteens food or hostel kitchen food okay now the main factors which are responsible for this cases are what either they are eaten the uh, eaten the contaminated raw material cross contamination longer holding time and improper temperature like we all know that the food are contaminated either are raw material okay 
this raw material suppose that uh, in a mess paneer are going to prepare okay now this paneer are what they are raw material okay and this is already contaminated with some type of microorganism okay now when this uh, this paneer are not properly cooked then it will become the reason for the food ball illness in a human being this is a one reason sometimes uh, cross contamination will also affect the health of the human being suppose that we have a chopping board this is our chopping board in which we cut the chicken now without washing without uh, washing without disinfectant we use this chopping board for the cutting of this paneer now the micro we all know that uh, non veg have a more microbial load than a veg product now the microorganism present into a chicken are transferred to this chopping board and from the chopping board this microorganism are transferred to the paneer and even the food handlers also become the reason of this cross contamination okay now long holding time that i already told you if a food are present between us 6 to 63 degrees celsius for 2 hours then it will be spoil okay this is the main reason this is a danger zone for a food product that is your 5 to 63 degrees celsius so we are not putting the food into 5 to 63 degrees celsius for a um 2 hours okay now improper temperature one example of improper temperature is 65 to 63 degrees celsius and one is suppose that we have to cook the food at at least 85 degrees celsius and we are not maintaining this temperature in that case our food become contaminated and the consumer who consume it will um, will have a food borne illness now see what is written in the slide ministry of health press statement around 2016 food poisoning 78% cases in school and moe institution 57% episodes increase compared to the last year and 60 episodes around 2325 cases in schools 95.7% incidents school canteens or hostel kitchen and these are the main factors which are which i already discuss now the next one is your according to the who who means world health organization world health organization okay now according to them or you can say that there is a some key fact of who and estimate 600 million almost 1 in 10 people in the world fall ill due to the contaminated food and around 4 lakh 4 lakh 20 thousands uh, person are died due to this contaminated food in every year okay which result in the loss of 33 million of healthy life per year okay now the children who are under 5 year they have a 40% chance of this food borne disease and the death rate of children under the 50 uh, under the 5 year are around 125000 in every year okay diarrhea is the disease which are more, most common symptoms of the food borne illness due to the consumption of this contaminated food and diarrhea uh, and around uh, 5 50 million people who have this disease diarrhea and among among them around 2 lakh 30 30000 people are death due to this diarrhea disease so this is very huge data now the next one uh, see what is written in the slide an estimate 600 million almost 1 in 10 people in the world fall ill after eating contaminated food see not a contaminated food person also become ill due to the consumption of contaminated water this is also become the uh, reason of food borne illness resulting the loss of 33 million millions healthy life per year 
children under 5 years of age carry 40% of the food born disease burden with 125000 death every year diarrheal diseases are the most common illness resulting from the consumption of contaminated food causing 550 million people to fall ill uh, fall ill and around 230000 death every year now the next one uh food safety nutrition and security are instructability linked okay this food safety okay nutrition and security are what they are linked together okay if we eat unsafe food okay that is not safe then a viscous cycle of disease and malnutrition and this are affected to mainly to the infant and the children and the older one and the person who are sick because their immune system are not strong infant immune system children elderly elderly and the sick per sick person have a weak immune system and when they consume this uh, uh, contaminated food then they will become easily to fall ill okay may impede socio economic development by straining health care system and harming a national economic tourism and trade food supply chain now cross multiple national border like good collaboration between the government producers and consumers and this collaboration are help in to in, to ensure the food safety okay now the next one food safety means that a food should be safe from a harvesting till it reaches to the human being okay food safety have to ensure during the handling process means that the worker who are involved in the manufacturing area have a good knowledge and they are not they will not become a reason for the contamination of the food okay even the food where it store okay so every food have their temperature for their storage so at that temperature we have to store that food product now when we have to prepare the food then it should also take a care uh, we have to avoid the cross contamination we have a, we have to avoid the uh, contamination with the insect or chemicals or some physical contamination we have also avoid to keep the food into a danger zone for 2 hours okay personal hygiene will also affect during the preparing preparation of the food so these all thing which we help to prevent the infection and it also help us to ensure that the food which are taken are have are are a good quality and have a nutrient into it and it will give a healthy diet okay now this is according to the food agriculture organization of the united nation now if we talk about according to the australian institution of food safety then what they refer they refer handling preparing and storing food in a way to best reduce the risk of individual becoming sick from a food born illness these definition are according to the australian institution of food safety but according to the food and agriculture organization of the united institution sorry united nation then they said that food safety is about handling storing and preparing food to prevent the infection and help to make sure that our food keep enough nutrients for us to have a healthy diet now the next one quality assurance see quality assurance are what that i already told you in the starting of the class uh, quality assurance means that we have to maintain the quality of the food in each of the step like suppose that during the processing during the cutting during the storage during the preparation in each step suppose that we have to take a food from uh, uncooked food from one place to another pla- place then this is also a step in the food processing okay suppose that uh, there is a room this is a this is your room where the cutting of the food are done now you have to keep this food from cutting area to the preparation area this is your what this is your preparation area then you have 
and this is your what this is your cutting area then when you are uh, taking food from cutting area to the preparation area you have to take a care that the quality of the food should not be degraded so quality assurance uh, means that we have to maintain the quality of the food maintain the quality of the food in each step okay in each step of the food preparation now see what is written in the slide quality assurance all the plan and the systematic activities implemented within the quality system that can be demonstrated to provide confidence that product or service will fulfill the requirement for the quality now the next one issue of the quality assurance food quality assurance critically had been imposed for food manufacturing to comply the standard in their production this food quality assurance what they are critically impose the food manufacturer so that they will apply the standard uh, standard in their food production some of the food manufacturing like exporting countries is not alert in producing healthy and safe food a food production firm may try to reduce the production cost by mixing in low quality material this is very um, this is very important point like uh, there is a some food production firms who have reduced their production cost okay and why they how they pro reduce this production cost by mixing the low quality material suppose that they take a raw material for the production of uh, some food like suppose that some bread industry okay now the they required some ingredient for the preparation of bread we all know that we required what we required a wheat flour okay salt and yeast okay so maybe these yeast have obviously these yeast are costly now decreasing their production cost or reducing their production cost what they do they degrade this yeast quality and when the quality of the ingredient decreases then the quality of the food will also decreases and ultimately what it will do it will affect the health of the human being okay now why this will occur due to the lack knowledge and awareness it is very difficult for the consumer to distinguish between the healthy food and unhealthy food now consumer consumer overloaded of information and exposure on the other countries food culture is one of the major causes in consumers demand for a food blended ingredients between the different culture may not knowing the suitability to the people who consume it may contribute to unhealthy food okay some blended ingredient between different cultures okay by knowing the suitability to the people who consume it may also contribute to the unhealthy food product now developing countries outdated laws okay developing country what they have they have a outdated laws and they have a lack knowledge in sharing limited coordination between the organization handling food safety in, uh, issues like include your funding of national research institution and lack of awareness about the standard and quality may also affect the developing country lack the resource of effective participate in international trade see developing countries have their outdated laws and even they have a lack knowledge about the safety of the food and they also have a lack of funding and they also have a lack of national research institute due to this and even they have a uh, lack of awareness of standard and the quality which will affect the quality of the food due to which uh, they face the quality uh, they they face the uh, reducing the quality of the food product as developing countries they uh, contribute around 50% agriculture export according to the spencer and steven 2006 the challenges that has been identified is uh, commodity market are governed by price and quality 
ट्रेड्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज योर इंटरनेशनल ऑफ फूड चेन एंड नेटवर्क नाउ इन इंटरनेशनल ऑफ फूड चेन एंड नेटवर्क फूड क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस आर हार्ड टू अचीव बिकॉज ऑफ सोर्सिंग If we talk about in national, international food chain, uh, food chain, then it is very difficult to achieve the food quality assurance because more international as food industries have many sources of raw material and as there are recycling product and semi finished product in food processing industry. What they have, they have a many sources for their raw materials. Okay, suppose that. Um, this is your a raw material then this a raw material they will get from one source two source three source okay that's why they have what they have a many sources for their raw material many sources for their raw materials okay and even when they are produ when they are producing the food product they have two product one is your recycling products and one is your semi finished product okay which contribute to meet uh, to not meet the food quality standards that's why it is very difficult to maintain the food quality assurance sorry uh, food quality assurance and the food quality standards now general principles of food uh, co sorry quality assurance is fit for purpose the product should be suitable for the intent purpose right first time like mistake should be eliminated function of the quality assurance the first function of the quality assurance is to maintain the standard and specification for all raw material and finished product okay what we have we have two type of product one is your raw material and from this uh, raw material we get what we get a product this raw material are converted into a product so we have to maintain our standard and specification for all type of raw material and product suppose that the raw material that we get we have a specification that 1 uh, gram of that uh, raw material like suppose that we have a wheat wheat flour okay and this wheat flour are converted into the product that is your bread now we have a specification that that with this raw material should contain uh, 13% of moisture okay now this should be maintained a specification should be maintained we cannot um, manage our specification at they have 13% percent of moisture content now suppose that this bread uh, we we check the quality of the bread in terms of nutrient like your carbohydrate protein fats and mineral the specification of this will also be maintained it also used to give a service to a company in all all areas related to product quality that is include troubleshooting visiting production facilities designing and training quality control panel to produce information that is accurate reliable and advocate for the intended purpose evaluating performance services of the quality of a product against a system standard or a specified requirement for the customer so these are what these are the function of the quality assurance uh, and we have to follow it now audit and certification of the quality assurance so there are four type of certification schemes for a quality assurance one is your hasep gmp mst and base hasep what hasep are was hazard analysis critical control point hazard analysis critical control point and gmp is what good manufacturing process good manufacturing process okay so we are going to discuss one by one the first one is your hasep uh, certification scheme uh, we already discuss in a detail about the hasep here what we are going to see the basic of this hasep uh, the full form that we already discuss it is what it is a risk management system which is used to either identify evaluate and control the hazard which are related to the food safety and this hasep are applied throughout the food supply chain what we have to do either we identify it either we have to evaluate it or either we have to control it 
then the i have said program can be implemented for control of physical biological chemical risk throughout the operation because this hazard of of uh, uh, this food hazard are four type one is your uh, physical chemical biological and allergens we have to avoid it during uh, the operation the plan help uh, the plan helps assure regula regulating authorities and customers that producer taking every reasonable precaution to assure our food safety it is a responsibility of the uh, uh, responsi responsibility of the producer that he, he sorry he or she will assure that uh, the food are of good quality it also help to reduce the contamination related food losses and it also improve the design of new food product now these are the seven principles of the uh, hesep like uh, analysis of hazard determination of critical control point establishment for critical limits establishment of monitoring uh, system establishment of corrective action establishment of verification process and establish to record to, or documentation so these are the seven principle in which our hesep are work now the next one is your benefits of hesep certification there are different benefits of this hesep certification the first one is your it gain control over a hygiene hygienic risk and hazard it also improve your food safety mitigate the risk of product liability claim demonstrate due to delegness earn international recognition boost customer confidence so these are the benefits of the hesep now the next one is your mesti mesti or what mesti is a makan salamat tangun sorry makanan salamat tang tangun gajawab industry these are what these are called a mesti they are uh, they are implemented implemented in 2012 okay so the, it is totally based on regulation this gmp are implemented in, in 2007 and it is based on demand fee imposed and this hesep are implemented in 1998 and it is based on demand and fee imposed these are the body which are help in the um, sorry these are the body which are help to maintain the quality of the food product and give the good quality of the food to the consumer and it also protect the health of the human being now the um, the element checklist there are two parts and 10 elements of this mesti first part is your control premises and the second part is your control operation mesti have two part one is your control of premises and one is control of operations okay now uh, these parts also have some element like control of premises have element like your design and facilities food handler training and maintaining and sanitation and this control of operation have different element like raw material control process control packaging control storage control transport and distribution control and traceability control these are two parts of mesti and uh 10 elements of this mesti now the next one is your benefits of this mesti facilities product marketability at the kedai rakayat one malaysia as well as open up market opportunity at hypermarket and other other like establishment facilitate the issue of free sales certificate fulfill the legal requirement under the food hygiene regulation 2009 by the establishing the food safety assurance program free technical coaching by the ministry of health benefit from promotional activities mesti logo on food product label the assurance uh, assurance consumers so this is all about the quality assurance of the food product i hope you you will uh, understand this lecture 
other if you have any query just let us know in a comment box and you can also ask your query to the help and number that are already mentioned in your ppt thank you for watching please like share and subscribe you can also visit our website that is www.itlsacademy.com you can also follow the itls academy on different platform like uh, instagram facebook twitter youtube whatsapp linkedin and sus sub subscribe itls academy on youtube and get our app from a google play thank you so much if you have any query just let us know in a comment box Yes.